Thank you, Chairman. Um, the experience of members of this committee has been stated by the members of the committee as to the extent of Trump administration consultation regarding circuit court judges. And I think we should heed those statements of fact by our fellow members. Um, we can litigate endlessly the sincerity of consultation between the White House and members, whether it's for real or whether it's for show. It's very hard for us to police that. If we had blue slips, that would not be a problem. We are living today with the consequences of getting rid of the blue slip for circuit court nominees. I got to say, I warned about this over and over and over again and urged my colleagues not to do this. I said, I really think you ought to think long and hard about this because once you tear down a tradition like this, it's really hard to rebuild it. I warned about its effect on the members who have commissions that make recommendations to them for courts, often bipartisan ones. With this vote, this committee has just killed the blue slip for circuit court nominees. We shot a torpedo into the very often bipartisan selection committee process that a great many senators have agreed to in their home states. And then, in response to what happened in California, I pointed out that not only do we not have any voice over who gets appointed to the circuit court associated with our state, we don't even have the power to assure that it's somebody associated with our state. We have senators on this committee who believed that the appointee had no credible association with their state. And I warned, actually, about, I think it probably had Senator Kennedy in my eyesight, and I mentioned about, you know, pointing a nice Brooklyn judge to a Louisiana seat. We've lost something very important when we undid the blue slip. To Senator Booker's point, I don't know how you put the toothpaste back in the tube. I'm eager to help find a way, but I will tell you what that way cannot be. It cannot be that when there's a Democratic president, everybody gets a blue slip and it can be used to block circuit court nominees. And where there's a Republican president, the Federalist Society cranks up its turnstile, big donors choose the nominees, and everybody lines up and shoves them through irrespective of qualifications or blue slips. That's how it happened in the last administration, and we can't have a back and forth. Whatever our solution it is, has to be something that will stick. And let me just say, with regard to the Federalist Society judicial selection turnstile, if you look at Judge Barrett when she went onto the circuit, if you look at um, other judges, um, I had a list in front of me, and I've mislaid it. Here it is. If you add up Judge Walker, Judge Rao, and Judge Barrett, their experience when they were put onto circuit courts, as a sum number, it is less than the experience of the judge we're debating today. So the debate over whether he has enough experience is a wondrous thing to me, having watched those three judges dialed through the Federalist Society turnstile and onto circuit courts with far, 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 far less experience than this judge exhibits. So we are in a bad place on this, and I'd like to get out of it, but let me just put those guardrails down. It cannot be that the way we get out of this is that there are blue slips when there's a Democratic president and it's Federalist Society turnstile uh, with no blue slips when it's a Republican president. Thank you.